Okay, so we've opened Fusion 360. Uh, the first thing I like to do is to save the project, give it a name, then start a new sketch, orientate it so it's top down in this case, and then select the plane for that sketch. Draw a rectangle from um, from the start point there and giving it the dimensions that I, that I require. And then move, sort of zoom in so I can see it a little bit better. Move, move the, uh, the dimensions in just so it's more manageable. Now draw a rectangle put in the dimensions that I require and then lock it to uh, a given distance away from away from the edge then on that same sketch I draw a circle and this forms the it's of the arch part. I'll then continue on that sketch and uh, using the offset tool as you can see put an offset in of 4mm the thread of rod's going to go through those are the sort of supporting legs and the and the sort of plinth, if you like, bit at the bottom. So we'll stop that sketch and then we'll extrude the parts that I need to extrude. So we'll type in the dimension that I actually want there for how big I want this to be. And then just to uh, just extrude the bottoms of those leg bits so they join up with the plinth if you like. And there you've got the basic shape of the of the bracket. Next, I want to place in the hole. So start a new sketch, put it on the uh, on the surface of that part. Find the midpoint of that and the three mil hole will do fine and then do the same on the other side and those would be the two holes that I'll use to secure it down to the um, down to the base if you like then I'll extrude those holes right the way through so that's um, that's essentially the part. I can tidy up a few bits here. I think I'll put a, a fillet around the edges. Where are they? There you go, fillet just on those bottom edges just to sort of tidy them up a little bit. And here you can move the arrow or type in a dimension that you want. So. That makes it look a little neater. I think that's quite an acute angle there, sort of 90 degree angle there. I think if I add something to where the leg comes down and the and the sort of base of it goes out, if I add a, a chamfer there, it would add a bit more material and make it stronger. So let's just bring that out sort of reasonable distance that seems to look okay same on the other side and that thing will give it the the extra strength it needs so from this we then uh, 
change the body name. It's just one body, so it can be one name. Um, so we'll give it a name that's fairly descriptive of what it is. And then we can save that body as an STL. I'll just use the high settings. Gives it a file name and then save it. Uh, and that's the STL file ready for 3D printing. So that's the video for today. Um, by all means, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Any remarks uh, in the comments, more than welcome to receive feedback. And uh, there'll be a new video soon. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye.